We are embarking on a fast-paced journey about serial killers who have lurked in the dark shadows throughout history and who make us shudder when we hear their names. Serial killers are not only individuals who commit murder, but also characters who shake the human mind, turn society upside down, and go down in history as monsters. Sometimes they appear mysteriously, sometimes they carry out their insidious plans behind an ordinary day. But all of them are lurking in the darkness and are remembered with horror in their times. If you are ready to brew your coffee and sit in front of your screens, here we go. Herman Webster Mudgett was born on May 16, 1861, in New Hampshire, USA. Known as an educated doctor, Holmes chose the name H. H. Holmes for himself. In 1893, during the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, H. H. Holmes, known for the hotel he founded, committed murders in a place called the Murder Castle. By equipping his hotel with a series of traps, secret tunnels, and soundproof rooms, Holmes could easily kill his clients. His hotel was designed with many special rooms and strange arrangements to attract visitors. Although the exact number of Holmes's murders is unknown, it is thought that he caused the deaths of at least 9 to 27 people due to his murders and frauds. In 1896, he was arrested for murder and fraud and executed in 1896. H. H. Holmes is one of America's first criminals to be considered a serial killer. His murders have been remembered throughout history because of the complexity and horror of his crimes. Aileen Warnos was born on February 29, 1956 in Michigan. Warnos had a difficult life at a young age, with a history of sexual abuse, homelessness, and crime. She committed her first murder in 1989 and became known for a string of murders. Warnos's victims were usually customers who were hitchhiking or stopping for sexual intercourse. Warnos attacked his victims by shooting or stabbing them. Warnos claimed that his murders were usually in self-defense. However, some of his murders were also known to have been robberies. When captured in 1992, Warnos confessed to six murders and was tried in a series of court hearings. In 2002, she was sentenced to death and executed. Aileen Warnos's story is recognized as an important event in the history of women's crime in America. Zodiac Killer is a mysterious serial killer operating in Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s, whose identity remains unsolved. The Zodiac became famous for the encrypted letters he sent to the media and the ciphers waiting to be decoded. Accusations first began in 1968 with the murder of a couple on Lake Herman Road. After the murder of a couple in the San Francisco Bay Area in 1969, Zodiac began sending coded letters to newspapers and police. In these letters, he gave various codes and clues to solve the mystery behind the murders. Zodiac Killer later stabbed and wounded a couple in Lake Berryessa and shared details of his attack on them, again in a coded letter. Although the murders and coded messages continued, the Zodiac was never officially identified. This has made him one of history's greatest criminal mysteries. Charles Edmund Cullen was born on February 22, 1960 in West Orange, New Jersey. Cullen began his nursing career in the early 1980s and worked in several different hospitals. However, his name began to be associated with a series of suspicious deaths, particularly in the early 2000s. Throughout his career, Cullen injected his patients with many lethal drugs. These drugs often included agents that appeared to be due to natural causes, such as heart failure. For this reason, Cullen's murders went undetected for a long time. Because he moved between several hospitals, his activities went unnoticed for a long time. In 2003, while working at a hospital in New Jersey, Cullen was arrested. He was accused of killing more than 40 patients in total, but it is believed that the number could be higher. Cullen testified that he committed the murders because of depression and other psychological problems he was struggling with. In 2006, Charles Edmund Cullen was sentenced to life in prison. His murders were a major incident that shook confidence in the healthcare system in the United States and led to a review of security measures in healthcare institutions. 
Theodore Robert Bundy was born on November 24, 1946, in Vermont. Bundy was a man with an attractive and friendly exterior that allowed him to easily lure and kidnap young women. However, behind this attractive face was a terrible truth that made him one of the most famous serial killers in history. Bundy committed a series of murders across America in the early 1970s. His victims were usually young women and girls. Bundy would kidnap, rape, torture, and murder his victims. His style was to dress his victims in attractive clothes and capture them in an atmosphere of trust. In 1978, Bundy was arrested and tried in Florida for a series of gruesome murders. Although he tried to defend himself in court, he was sentenced to death for his crimes. Ted Bundy was executed in the electric chair in 1989. Bundy's life and crimes have played an important role in the study of the psychology of serial killers and have been the subject of many films and documentaries in popular culture. Tsutomu Miyazaki is a serial killer born on August 21, 1962 in Itsukaichi, Japan. Between 1988 and 1989, Miyazaki kidnapped four girls sexually assaulted them, murdered them, and hid their bodies. Miyazaki is known as the Little Victim Killer because his victims were usually aged between four and seven. He hid some of the bodies and dumped others in the woods. It has also been revealed that he was about to partially eat some of the bodies of his victims. In 1990, Miyazaki was arrested for crimes such as committing the murders, sexual assault, and hiding the bodies, and was executed in 2008. This event has been remembered in Japan as an event that deeply affected the public sense of security and created a greater sensitivity to child safety in the country. Patrick Wayne Kearney was born in Texas on September 24, 1939. He was a serial killer who operated in Southern California from the late 1960s to the mid-1970s. Kearney committed murder, often targeting men with whom he had homosexual relationships. Kearney's murders were notable for the fact that he often disposed of his victims by dismembering them and putting them in trash bags after killing them. For this reason, he is also known as the trash bag killer. It is estimated that Kearney committed at least 21 murders in total. In 1977, Kearney was captured after he confessed to the murders and handed over the bodies of some of his victims to the police. In 1978, he was found guilty of the murder charges and sentenced to life imprisonment. Kearney is still in prison. Ahmad Suraji is an Indonesian serial killer. Born on January 10, 1949 in Medan, Indonesia, Suraji often attracted women by presenting himself as a healer and psychic. However, his real purpose was to commit murder and drink the blood of his victims. Suraji kidnapped and murdered at least 42 women between 1986 and 1997. He committed many of his murders by saying he was helping their souls. He often buried his victims in water wells in his fields. In 1997, he was caught by police and confessed to the murders. Suraji believed that by drinking the blood of women, he would gain supernatural powers. In 2008, he was found guilty of serial murders and executed in Indonesia. Ahmad Suraji's brutal murders sparked outrage in Indonesia and led to a tightening of penal sanctions against criminals in the country. Alexander Pachushkin was born on April 9, 1974 in Maitishchinsky, northeast of Moscow, the capital of the Soviet Union. Known as the Chessboard Killer, and the Bitsevsky Park Maniac. Pachushkin was a Russian serial killer who murdered homeless men he invited to his home by offering them vodka. He is known to be responsible for 49 murders. He would repeatedly crack his victims' heads open with a hammer and insert a vodka bottle into their heads. He initially said he wanted to kill 64 people to complete the number of squares on a chessboard. He is also believed to be in competition with another Russian killer, Alexander Pachushkini, who was convicted of 53 murders in 1992. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts and ideas about the video with us in the comments section. You can also turn on notifications to get more content and be part of our community. See you in the next video.